Hello, everyone. Welcome to Kit Art. Let's do bunch of tulips with bow tie today. Use your black marker. Do the center of the bow tie. Then, coming out of one side of the knot, draw the first loop of the tie with curved lines and give it a rounded corners, same as another side. From the center, let's draw the left lace of the ribbon, which is with the three D shape. The right side, which is longer than the left side, this step will form the end of the tie section of the ribbon. Then we add the patterns on the bow tie, make it more pretty. The main shape of the two lips is an oval shape. Also, the each petal based on the oval shape. But the side one will be skinnier. Trying to use the curve or wave lines to do the petals. Each flower there will have the three to five petals. Also, the stem cross the bow tie. A leaf grow on the stem. With the two curved lines, please make it the top be pointed. Two lip stem only has one flower growing on the top, so each of the flower we're gonna draw one stem. There is a small leaf. Each of flowers, the main shape is basic on the oval, but some of them because of the side way, so a bit pointed on the top. The third one will be covered by the small leaf at the corner, so we're going to do the half of the flower. Also, we're gonna do a stem. Cross the bow tie, make it a bit curvy. A leaf, same as the one we did before, but it's from the right side. The fourth one, it's been covered by the leaf, so we do the leaf first. Also the stem. The fourth one, we have four petals as well. Please make your flowers looks the similar size. And all basic on the oval shape. Don't forget the stem will cross the leaf. The last one is on our right side. Start from the oval as well. You can make these two two lips connect each other or separately. It's fine. We're gonna do two leaves in the middle and the right side. You can add it somewhere you like, but please make sure the top of the leaf is pointed. Well done. Let's add some patterns on the leaves. Follow the shape of your leaf to do the patterns. We do three or four lines on each. Which is depends on how fat is your leaf. Trying to make the gap between the each lines are the same. Great, we finished the drawing. Let's start coloring now. Use your light pink or the other colors that you love, coloring the middle of the bow tie, also the bottom of the left and the right loop. Slow down. Take your time. And also use this same color to cover the ribbon, because we're gonna make this bow tie as the three D shape. We will use the dark color cover the other area later. Which color is darker than the light pink? 
Yes, you can use your red, or if you have the rose red, they're all good. So start from the top. Let's color in the left side. Take your time, slow down, and also the right side. After that, we're gonna finish the rest of the ribbon. You will see this is turning to a bit 3D right now, right? After that, we're gonna use the same color to do the shade on the bow tie under the each side of the loop. Make it a bit darker. Also, the ribbon. Make it darker. Trace the outline. Well done. Then you can use the yellow or the other color that you like to cover it. Good job. We finished the bow tie. Let's color in the flowers now. We use the light pink or the skin color to color the two lips. Choose the biggest the petal covered with this color on the each of the flowers. The flowers are usually large, showing and brightly colored, generally red, pink, yellow, or white, usually in warm colors. So you can choose all the colors or just one of them to make your one beautiful. We use the same color to cover the petal, not be covered one, which is in the front of the others. Because we need to show this flower, it has the light and the dark side. Tulips are part of the lily family and are prized for their vibrant colors and unique cup-shaped flowers. Then, we're gonna use the color which is a bit darker than the first one. You can use the dark pink or the orange. In many cultures, tulips are associated with love, passion, and perfection, making them a popular choice for giving as a gift to loved ones. We use the same color Drawing some patterns on the skin color petal. This is can be the dark side of the each one, which is make our petal looks more 3D. Cause the flower is the oval shape. Slow down, take your time. Don't forget the small one. Then we use the dark color. You can use the dark pink, red to cover the, the rest of the petals. Well done! We finished our flowers. It's time to coloring our leaf. Use your light green or your lemon green covered the small leaf. This is the newborn one, so you can see the color is so fresh. Also, use the same color. We choose the one or two lines on the leaf. Now, two lips is still be a popular plant and are grown for their beauty in gardens and as cut flowers. Leave a white line between the two lime green lines because we're going to use another green cover in the middle. Then use your grass green or the other type of green to cover it. 
take your time, slow down. If you accidentally left some white gap, please cover it. We also left one line without color. That is for our darkest green. Use your darkest green or your turquoise covered the rest of the leaf and also the stem. What do you want to learn to draw? Please leave me a message. I will choose the one to make it come true. We almost finished. Take your time, slow down. Well done, guys! Thanks for your hard work. If you like to learn more drawing, please push the like button and subscribe our channel. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.